Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to shoot a quick video on why the shotgun is the most versatile weapon. If I could only own one firearm, it would be a shotgun. And I'm going to get into that in a minute. First, I'm going to talk about what I've got here. It's my Remington 870. These are one of the most popular shotguns out there. They've been around for a very, very long time. They're sold wherever guns are sold. Uh, they, they're used by sportsmen, by people uh, wanting to defend their homes, by law enforcement, the military, you name it. They've been used all around the world. Um, <clears throat> they're very reliable. They're easy to maintain. There's a ton of aftermarket parts. Um, some really neat stuff you can put on them if you want. You can change out the barrel, different lengths, different types of barrels very quickly. Uh, and it's all really easy to do. So, um, <clears throat> anyways, to get into why shotguns are so versatile, basically what we're going to do is get into the different types of loads you can put in them. Um, before I uh, get too far into this, we're going to talk about shot size. And uh, you got to keep in mind the smaller the uh, shot size number, the larger the BB. So just remember, smaller shot size, larger BB. Okay. So what I've done here is cut open uh, four of the most popular types of shells to show you what's inside. And that's the secret to why these are so versatile. By simply putting a different shell or shells... In this gun, I can change uh, the role I want it to serve or the type of game that I'm uh, trying to take. Okay, real simple. Uh, we're going to start out with number eight, which is commonly referred to as birdshot. And contained to that is tons and tons of these little tiny BBs. And... Um, as the name implies, they work very well on birds, but also on squirrels, rabbits, anything that's small and fast moving. Um, the uh, limitation on it, though, is they they don't hit very hard since they're so small, and uh, they're not you don't get a lot of range out of them. Which, um, while I'm on that topic too, shotguns, I'll be the first one to tell you they're not perfect. They don't do it. They don't do everything well, but they do do everything. But um, they are a short range weapon. You know, they're not going to replace the sniper rifle or anything like that, obviously. Uh, but here in Michigan, they work very, very well. Because, uh, you know, most of what we do around here is in the woods. So, anyways, that was number eight. Okay. Now, we're going to move on to number six. And as you can see, the BB's got a little bit bigger. And you don't get quite as many of them. But since the BBs are bigger, they're going to hit harder. Do more damage to whatever you're shooting. Um, and you're going to get a little more range out of them. And number six also works really well on birds, rabbits, squirrels. Things like that. Small, fast-moving targets. Okay. Um... And another thing, too, is, like I said, these are just four of the most common uh, shot sizes, or I should say loads. There's literally dozens of different types of loads you can put in these things. I'm just doing the four. All right, moving on, we have the infamous buckshot. And uh, this is double-O buck. There's several different types of buckshot. This is called double O or double O because it says zero zero and this would be what you would typically use for you know home defense um, also as the name implies you can use them to shoot a deer at closer ranges and kill a deer uh, this is also what law enforcement would typically use and the military would typically use okay um, you have less BBs but they're bigger you know, they're about the diameter of a 22 shell, something like that. So you're going to get a lot more energy. They're going to hit harder. They're going to fly further. Okay. And then last, but most certainly not least, 
we have the slug. And it's just one big chunk of lead. So these you typically use on deer. Um, you could even use them up to things like bear. Uh, you're going to get a lot more range out of these and accuracy, obviously, than uh, you would with any of those other loads. But once again, it's not going to replace a sniper rifle. You're not going to shoot way out there with them. But um, at closer ranges, they work very, very well. So anyway, there you have it. That's basically the gist of why shotguns are so versatile, just by, like I said earlier, changing out what type of shell I put in it. I can completely change the uh, role I want to serve and whatever uh, kind of animal I'm hunting. Um, another quick thing too, you can see my uh, shell belt here. So if I was in a survival situation, I have one of these on me. You can see here I've got, sorry. <clears throat> got number six I've got buckshot and I've got slugs so I can just throw this thing on and I'm ready for whatever comes at me so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video uh, one final point I'd like to make too is throughout all these ammo shortages and everything um, I, you can always find shotgun shells I don't know what it is you know you're not gonna find uh, you know, 223 for your AR. Um, you're not going to find a lot of pistol uh, ammo. Um, you're not going to find even uh, shells for your 22. But for some reason, they've always got boxes of shotgun shells on the shelf. So if you like this video, hit the like button and uh, please subscribe. This is my first video and uh, hopefully I'll make some more. Take care.